is about Java that we are trying to learn. Now I want you to understand Java, you know, always didn't have the facility to connect to these databases. It didn't have the facility. Java didn't have this facility. It is in fact in 1997 that the first time they introduced a feature in Java using which a Java program can connect to a database management software. First time they introduced this in 1997. Java as a language unofficially was there in the market from 1992, officially was released from 1994, but in all these years it did not have any ability to connect to databases. It did not have this ability. But in 1997, Java came up with a new technology or a new feature called as Java's Database Connectivity or JDBC. When the time arrives, JDBC I will teach you, in depth I will teach you, but I want you to understand in 1997 for the first time, Java came up with a feature using which Java as a programming language could connect to a database management software. This interaction was never possible. I hope I am clear. The moment Java announced that, hey, listen, I am now going to open up my programming language to connect with database management softwares, then all these DBMS companies got very excited. They got very excited. And they started thinking, okay, if a programmer through a Java program wants to connect to the database, what should be the method name? If a Java programmer wants to send a query to the database and execute that query, then what should be the method name? They started to think. Once all the database and Java programs interaction is done, if the connection which was established has to be terminated, then what should be the method name? They started to think. And one by one, one one database management softwares came up with their own method names. For example, Oracle said that if at all a Java program wants to connect to Oracle DBMS, then to establish connection, the method name should be get connection like this. That is what they proposed. Get connection should be the method name. If you call Java program and DBMS connection will be established. Similarly, if in case some query you want to send, what do you mean by a query, sir, you might ask? Well, please understand databases understand a special type of language called as the structured querying language or SQL. In fact, SQL also has the course. Certainly, I will be teaching you at a later point of time. But please understand, for a database, whatever you wanted to do, you must tell it in the form of a query at the back of your mind. You must speak to it in queries. Now, if at all a Java programmer wants to send a query to the database, then for that, the method name is execute query. That is the method name. Similarly, after all execution is over, if connection has to be terminated, then the method name should be close like this. They told me. Up, I'm clear. This was Oracle's suggestion. Then came Informix. Informix said, no, 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 listen. If somebody wants to connect to my database, the method name should be start connection. If query has to be executed, the method name should be query execute. If at all, once everything is over, if connection has to be terminated, then the method name should be terminate connection like this. Similarly, Sybase had its own idea. Wants to name connection. If a Java programmer wants to execute the query which he has sent, then the method name has to be query. If at all the Java programmer wants to terminate the connection, then the method name has to be close like this. Different, different fellow came up with different, different method names. So what sir, isn't this a good thing you might ask? 100% it is not a good thing. Why sir, you might ask? Well, let me 
give you a scenario. Let me give you. For example, like this. This is a Java programmer. This is a Java programmer. Now this Java programmer, via his Java program, wants to connect to a database. Let us assume the database that he has to connect to is the Oracle database. Let us assume it is the Oracle database. I hope I am clear. Now friends, please understand. If he wants to establish connection to Oracle database, just now I told you, what was the method name? Just recollect and tell me. 100% the method name was get connection. I hope I am clear. Similarly, if he wants to execute a query like select star from some table name like that if the query then the method name was you know execute query and if at all once all the querying and processing is done he wants to close the connection then the method name was close i hope i'm clear now okay sir what is the problem you might ask now let us assume one new project came to his company new project back end is still developed by java but unfortunately the new project the data is not stored in oracle the data is stored in a database which is managed by a software called as let us assume uh, you know sybase like this or for example like this sybase or informix now tell me database changed now this fellow has to establish connection to what was the method name to connect to Informix? Tell me. Just now I showed you, isn't it? What was the method name for connection to Informix? Don't you think just the way you are thinking, this fellow also will be a little confused. If he tells get connection now, he cannot work. Because Informix has its own method for connection, which is called a start con. Similarly, he wants to execute a query. What is the method name? No idea. The method name is query execute. Don't you think he has to remember that also? Next, he wants to close the connection. What should be the method name? It is terminate connection. Don't you think he has to now remember six method names just because the database changed? If it was Oracle, different. If it is Informix, different. Now let us assume one third project he got, one third project we got and in that project again they changed the database. Now, he is even more confused or even more frustrated. Let us assume the database this time was Sybase. Now, by the time it was changed to Sybase, he is totally frustrated because he can't tell get connection. He can't tell start connection. What is the method name to establish connection with Sybase? Go search, remember and then he will see, oh, the method name is establish connection. Then he wants to execute a query. What is the method name? Again, full confusion because now here the method name is query. Previously in Informix, it was query execute. In Oracle, it was execute query. Don't you think so much confusion? Now he wants to close the connection. What is the method name? Again, confusion only. Then he has to search and finally he will know it is close connection. Now you only tell me, keep the database aside. Look at it from the perspective of this Java programmer. What is the Java programmer doing? He doesn't care which is the database. What does he care about? How to connection? How to execute query? How to close connection? This is all he cares about. Nothing else matters to him as such. But just because of one mistake which Java did, which was giving the flexibility to the database management softwares to decide the method names, the Java programmers were put into trouble. Because every time the database changed, they had to remember different, different method names. And friends, you might be wondering, sir, what is there, sir? Three method names for Oracle, three for Informix, three for Sybase. One nine method names could not a Java developer remember. Then you're highly mistaken. Don't think there are only three methods. Establish connection, execute query, close. It is not like that. There are minimum 150 to 200 methods for you to operate on databases. So are you trying to tell me that 200 into 3, 600 method names you will be able to remember? It is just impossible. 
it is just impossible obviously the programmer would be extremely frustrated how many method names can he possibly remember he will be frustrated slowly programmer started to complain about java telling you gave us the ability to connect to databases but what a big blunder you did different different database management softwares expect different different method names can one human being remember so many method names it is impossible that is when java realized its mistake java realized its mistake like this if different different method names has to be remembered for different different database management softwares it will put the person using java at risk he will feel that java is not programmer friendly he will feel that then what did java do sir then java people realized that the best way to fix this problem is that they decide what should be the method names they should decide which is the method name irrespective of whether it is oracle informix or sybase three fellows should use the same method names provided by java if that happens then the java developer is happy because whether it is oracle informix or sybase method names will remain the same they don't have to remember multiple method names so what did they do sir what java did is they told listen we are going to give you a contract we are going to give you a contract in the contract we will mention what should be the you must follow that contract and make sure the method names are exactly the same as what is mentioned in the contract or oh, really sir what is that contract you might ask this is only that contract i hope i'm clear and inside this contract what was there sir if you ask me inside this contract method names were there and only names were there for example java told that whether it is oracle informix sybase we don't care if a java programmer wants to establish connection the name must compulsorily be get connection compulsorily and see here semicolon i have put why have i put semicolon because body they didn't give friends they gave only name they gave only name body they didn't give they gave only name similarly they told let it be any database if at all somebody wants to execute java programmer wants to execute a query compulsorily the method name has to be execute query and nothing else and see only name they gave body they never gave just name they gave similarly they said if anyone wants to terminate or close the connection then i don't care which database it is java programmer will close like this this should be the method name i hope i'm clear till this point of time this contract which java gave which compulsorily should be followed by all these database management systems or software is only technically called as an interface from today onwards anywhere you hear this word interface you must understand an interface is a contract whatever has been mentioned in the contract should be followed as it is there cannot be a change to the contract i hope i'm clear and what was the name of this interface sir you might ask the name of this interface was only the connection interface and please understand interfaces are always represented pictorially by a rectangle just like a class but how to know one is a class other is a interface is looking at these angular brackets if you see me draw a rectangle with an angular bracket you must know it is not a class it is an interface and what is there inside the interface what is there inside the interface is only and only method names nothing else is there only method names are there okay sir great now what sir now what means anyways oracle maintained the same method names get connection execute query close but informix 
they had to now change their method names because they have to follow the contract you can't change the contract in the contract if it is get connection they had to also change it to get connection of course i've just shown it it is a contract so watch it like this they changed it to get connection Ex query execute they changed it to execute query similarly terminate connection they changed it to close because that is what is mentioned in the contract even Sybase did establish con query close con that's what they thought they will call their method names as but 100% they had to change it to whatever was mentioned in the contract and what was mentioned in the contract these method names unclear. any confusion till this point of time next what sir you might ask now tell me what was the advantage of java giving this interface what was the advantage the advantage was very easy now if a java programmer comes let us assume first he will connect to oracle database what is the method name to establish connection get connection what is the method name to execute query execute query let us assume in the next project they removed the oracle database brought in informix does he have to remember any extra method names no because even in informix method name is get connection execute query close even in sybase it is get connection execute query close like that let it be any database there is one more database called as db2 it doesn't matter which database it is java programmers have to remember only these method names they don't have to remember different different method names hence what was achieved by java by introducing something called as an interface was standardizing that is what they achieved standardization what does standardization means everywhere the same thing is followed that is the meaning of standardization for example we say that one mile is 1.6 kilometers now this is a standard why is it a standard because you go to any country on the planet earth one kilometer or one mile will always be 1.6 kilometers only hope you're able to think one kg <coughs> is thousand grams this you go anywhere in the world it is thousand grams only hope you're able to think in other words what is achieved through an interface is standardization interface is like a contract contract has to be followed